Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a very interesting sum, a highly controversial topic, the sum of positive integers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot, you get the idea. Ramanujan claimed that this sum is negative 1 over 12. And there is quite a few proofs on YouTube, anywhere else. I'll share some links down below. But was Ramanujan wrong? Let's find out. So I'm going to be presenting two approaches and we'll talk about a couple different things. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at some stuff that you can find on the internet. Again, I'm going to share the links down below. There's a blog that talks about it. Like I said earlier, this is called Ramanujan Summation. And... Number file made a video about it, and then Mythologer made a video, and then Mythologer made another video. You can go ahead and check them out. Those are the titles, and again, I'm going to share all these links down below. And there's a Wikipedia article about it, which says that this is a triangular number, so on and so forth. So I'm going to share with you my take on this, and some of the stuff that I'm going to talk about, please don't take seriously okay anyways let's get started first method we have an interesting sum one plus two plus three dot 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 all the way to infinity let's call it s that's what we usually do when we have a sum and try to evaluate it for example with infinite geometric series we set it equal to s and we do a little bit of something like multiply add whatever and then we end up evaluating the sum right with some conditions though we'll talk about it later now let's go ahead and add zero to both sides what happens if i add zero to this sum what do you think well isn't that the same as zero plus s right and that will be s yes if i add zero to both sides i'm gonna get the same sum cool but why is it important? Like, why would you add zero, right? What's the purpose? Here is how it goes. I'm going to write my original sum. 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 equals s. And then I'm going to write the version with zero. But this time, I'm going to shift it over so that 1 is aligned with zero, 2 is aligned with 1, and 3 is aligned with 2, and so on and so forth. And then this is also going to be s. As you noticed, zero is the identity element. When we add to anything, it gives us the same thing. Make sense? Great. So far, so good, right? Are you following? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to add these two sums. I'm going to subtract them because they're equal, right? That will be fun. So let's go ahead and negate everything in the second sum. And we're going to add the opposite. In other words, we're going to subtract these two sums. 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1, and so on and so forth. These are all positive differences. And s minus s is equal to 0 as far as we know, right? Okay, great. Now, this is pretty interesting because this is something that we haven't talked about before, but similar to something we talked about it, right? We talked about 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, and we kind of said that, hey, this could be a number of different things. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about 1 plus 1 plus 1, all these ones. And it just gives us 0. You're adding too many ones so you can get 0. But this is not the most interesting piece. I'm going to go ahead and take these sums, like this one, and many others, just like this one. But I'm going to go ahead and shift them. They're all 0, right? And I'll add these two together. Not do these two, but all of these. 1 plus 1 plus dot dot dot. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus dot dot dot. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus dot dot. All these. Infinitely many of them. And that gives me, if you add in columns, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be a 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is a 3. So on and so forth. And if you add 0 plus 0, it's a 0. 0 plus 0 is a 0. So it's going to give me 0. Uh-oh. Ramanujan claimed the sum was negative 1 over 12, but now I claim that the sum is 0. So was Ramanujan wrong? Again, we're going to look at the second method. Okay? Let's go ahead and find out. So with the second method, we have the same sum, but 
This time, I kind of want to expand it and write a lot of terms because I'm going to be using a really cool strategy. And let me tell you something. This is something that we used a lot for geometric series, but also with some stuff like, let me think about it. Yes, uh, when we have the reciprocals, we can kind of compare. Remember the sum of the reciprocals, one plus one half plus one third, does this converge or diverge, right? We kind of compare it to the sum of the reciprocals of powers of two. And then we can kind of find out because if all the terms or the partial sums of my series is greater than a series which is divergent, then obviously my series will be divergent because it's going to have a larger value. Anyways, you hopefully get the idea. I'm going to continue 12, 13, so on and so forth. So here's my idea. And obviously, you can do this with more terms. I'm not exactly sure if you can do this with an even number of terms. I believe you can, in which case you would find something like 4.5. And then, for example, if, I, if you added these, um, I believe you can also do with three terms. Well, let's just do five terms. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the following. Put together these terms and look at the sum and then check the next five and look at the sum and keep doing it. Now notice that these are all in and of themselves arithmetic series. So the sum actually is the number in the middle times the number of terms. You hopefully know that rule, right? So this sum is actually five times five because there are five terms, which is 25. This sum is five times 10 because there are five terms, which is gonna be 50. And then of course, one plus two is a three. And let's put a plus sign here and a plus sign here. And of course, the next one is going to be 75. Following the pattern, you're going to realize if you write 13, 14, 15, 15 16, 15, 16, and 17, you can realize it adds up to 75. And now I have the following sum, 3 plus 25 plus 50 plus 75, so on and so forth. But wait a minute. All these terms, I can factor out 25 because it's a common factor. And inside, I get 1 plus 2 plus 3. Uh-oh, that looks familiar. And of course, what is the sum equal to, though, by the way? I started with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 dot dot dot, which is my S, the infamous sum, right? Okay. Now, notice that I also got the same sum inside the parentheses. Uh-oh. Then I get something like this. 3 plus 25S equals S. Subtract s from both sides, 24s equals negative 3. You've got to bring the 3 over to the right. And then s is equal to negative 3 over 24. But that's the same thing as negative 1 over 8. So using the second method, I can make my sum negative 1 over 8. With the first method, we were able to make it 0. Yay! That was great, right? But this time, it's a negative number. And we could probably go lower, right? But let me tell you something real quick before you judge uh, Ramanujan, Ramanujan summation. Here's a fact that we know is true. If limit of a n, a sub n, as n approaches infinity, it does not equal zero, then the series n equals one to infinity, a sub n diverges. Now, if this limit is zero, that doesn't necessarily mean the series converges, but at least we know when it's not zero, it does diverge. So if you take a look at our series, which uh, general term, whose general term is n, we know that this limit is infinity, which is not zero. Therefore, this sum diverges. And that's the whole idea behind all these nonsense that you can make it anything you want. In other words, there's no finite sum. So the conclusion is 1 plus 2 plus 3, dot, 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 all the way to infinity, does not equal negative 12. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Check out the links. And bye-bye.